and there were so many problems in our relationship. Andre Risen had just left this night spot with his girlfriend, rap singer Lisa Lopez, and allegedly started beating her. My mother and my father fought a lot, and you know, I, I just react quickly to those kind of situations. So when Andre's grabbing on me and stuff, they turn into fights. Our house across the street because they across the street and house is on fire. How did I burn it down? Is this place on one of the sides of the house? Let me tell y'all something. He had been staying out late. I decided, all right, I'm gonna flip the script. Night. I'm coming home late with some girls, with a dress on, like I just had the time of my life. It's the sun, me and the sun racing home right now. I got home, it was five o'clock in the morning. Andre's car, still not in the driveway. So, my plan definitely didn't work. He drove up five minutes after we drove up. Five minutes and Andre's headlights were shining on me. And I was looking back at him like, yeah, motherfucker. And he was looking at me like, what the fuck do you have on? And he gets out the car, and as soon as he walked up to me, I don't know what he said, but he got slapped for it. He went in the house, I went in the house behind him. So it was just all building up, building up, building up. So now it's all coming out, it's all coming out. Everything that I just kept inside, all my frustrations, I was just enraged, I was about to snap, I was hurt. Next thing you know, he pulled me in the bedroom and we were fighting. And the whole time I'm screaming and he grabbed me, throwing me back on the bed, pinning me down. And oh, how, you know, how could you? And, ripping my clothes, and he's just going crazy. Yeah, like, and then when I would get up on my feet, and then I would start just beating on him and stuff, you know, he would ball up, and he would just let me take my frustrations out. And I was blasted, I was wasted. I was blacking in and out the whole time. And I woke up, and that's when I walked in the bathroom and looked in the damn mirror, and when I seen my face, I was like, I'm about to kill him. I had a big bruise right here <laughs> that went from the outside of my lip, flipped the lip under, to the inside of <laughs> my I didn't even almost didn't even recognize myself. So, I was like, no. No. And then you wake up to fight. No, this is not happening. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. I was still enraged. I was still hurt. And that's when I went in the closet and I seen all of these new tennis shoes just stacked up, just stacked up, just stacked up, just stacked up. Just stacked up. Just I was like, wait a minute. All right. One of these better be for me. I didn't see no damn size four, so them sneakers went right in the bathtub. I was like, he's staying out late. He's fucking up at 50. He ain't coming home. He ain't buying me no tennis. He ain't even thinking about me. He's a totally disrespecting me. Bruised my face. I was just like a mad woman, like just throwing him in there, just like <laughs> you're gonna burn. You're gonna burn. <laughs> Went under the cabinet, grabbed my lighter fluid oh, that I used to barbecue it, and barbecued me some tennis shoes. Officials say it started near the back of the home and spread unbelievably fast. Now I'm hypnotized by the flames. I'm in a trance. The flames are growing. The fire, the intensity, everything is just getting bigger and getting bigger, bigger and bigger and bigger. My sister it. ran in the bathroom and she pulled me out of it because at that point I was <laughs> I was just gazing. And when I got outside, I looked at that house, and this feeling came over me like, wow, the house of evil is <laughs> burnt to the ground, it's burning. Don't ask me who it was. Somebody came all up in my face. He took a vacuum cleaner pipe 
windows vacuum cleaners. Yeah. Know, right, really he started busting your windows. And he started busting out all my windows in my car because I had set the fire in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And when I seen him do that, I was like, I know you up. <laughs> Then why you had to go do that? So I picked up the pipe, one swing, crack, bash the windshield in Andre's Mercedes. One swing, crack, bash the wind windshield in his other car. Damn. One crack. <laughs> <laughs> Get back up, went back to the other one. Man. <laughs> but we're in the middle of doing all of this stuff. It's like we all stopped at once in unison. It's like we all stopped what we was doing and we looked up. This black smoke just rolling, just rolling from under the... It was like, wow. We left and we went to the hospital and all of a sudden it was on the news already, 6 o'clock in the morning. So many stories came out. I never opened my mouth about what happened, but yet people were printing stories like it was the gospel truth. Lopez sat next to her mother in the back seat of this Mercedes as friends drove her to the police precinct where she surrendered. Police say most of the questioning centered on the circumstances that led this pop singer to allegedly commit arson. And I was like, don't believe anything you hear and, and only believe half of what you see. I didn't realize what I was doing. I didn't mean for the house to burn down. I just meant for it to stay in the tub. You know, I didn't realize any of that. So for me, even though I was getting handcuffed, I always had a positive outlook, like everything's gonna be okay. I don't see myself going down for 20 years because of an accident, because that's what it was. It was an accident. According to a police report, when Ryzen and a group of friends returned from a nightclub, Lisa Lopez ran from the house out into the driveway and began to slap and curse the victim. I was like, I'm a, I am a victim, okay? You got him, like, pegged out to be the victim. What is, you got me looking like an alcoholic. Lisa has an alcohol problem and has actually had an alcohol problem for some time. Like, I was just crazy, drunk out my mind, didn't know what I was doing, and just for no reason, just decided to burn down the house when I was abused, like, physically, mentally. Lopez is a singer with the hip-hop group TLC. What she's accused of doing yesterday is far from tender, loving care. I was like, I have fans. This is not really, this is not the picture that I'm trying to create. I'm not trying to be no crazy nutcake. 